well, the early part of the century, as far as the early 20s, what is called Washington Street neighborhood was really an Arabian city in the United States. It used to be called Little Syria. The three streets were almost exclusively an Arabian city with the Arabic language, signs and stores, uh, restaurants and wholesale houses, and used to be the headquarters for commerce. It was the most famous spot in America in all the Arab world more famous than Washington, D.C. They knew where to go before they came. It was even written about it in papers abroad in Beirut. I used to read about Washington Street in Lebanon. From Washington Street sprang a uh, school in Arabic literature, which included many poets and famous writers that now enjoy wide fame in all Arab land. It started from New York. Uh, was a group called the Pen Bond, or Pen Fraternity, which means in Arabic, Arrabta al qalami It was headed by Khalil Gibran. The discussion arose as to what the Syrian writers in New York could do to lift Arabic literature from the quagmire of imitation and stagnation. It was suggested that an organization be created to band the writers together and to unify their efforts in the service of the Arabic language and its literature. The suggestion was met with warm approval by all poets and writers present. In the 20s, oh yes, it was already built, of course, there were newspaper, intellectual, and there was uh, Arabic literature, and wholesale trade, and restaurants, and uh, uh, and Rector Street in particular was for fancy uh, ladies' wear, expensive wear, I mean, like uh, lace and so far. By the end of the 20s, the Peddler army were reduced greatly, and most people here gave up peddling. I mean, not only the new generation, but the uh, immigrants that came after the First World War were more cultured and educated, and they uh, thought that peddling is something beneath them. They looked for jobs and professions. First, they find jobs with their own people, bookkeepers so far in uh, Syrian and Lebanese uh, commercial houses, until they were experienced and were first and studied the language. The first immigrant, they realized the value of education. They were not very educated themselves, and they realized that education is power and they all started to send their children to high uh, learning institutions. Then they branched around. And now they are very well advanced. I mean, uh, from a very uh, small community that really is something, is a record. Washington Street became to decline with the advance of uh, buildings. You could see now what happened to it. In the early 30s, they began to put down old houses and build these new skyscraper and business buildings. That was the death of Washington Street. <laughs> it died in the face of progress. <laughs> As I said, there's only one house left of all the old neighborhood. There's only one house, still one house left. How it kept there, I can understand. Amidst all these high skyscrapers, one house.